Today, I am going to be building the Palace of Westminster, aka the building that has the Big Ben Clock Tower. This build turned out absolutely insane, so I hope you all enjoy it, and let's get right into the build. They're called french fries, not chips. I'm sorry, let's get into it. And we are off to the races. I'm starting off here with a nice little blueprint layout design. Um, I found doing this is a, a, a lot easier than just winging it sort of uh, without this blueprint. So um, yeah, there's a little tip for you guys. Uh, uh, plan out your builds before you start. Uh, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, for a, for a long time I, I never did that. So um, yeah, this build uh, turns out really nice in the end, and I think this blueprint uh, definitely helped me out. Um, for some context here, I only had about two and a half days to build this entire thing, so I have been scrambling to finish this thing uh, to get this video out on time, so um, uh, the blueprint definitely helped me out, and uh, yeah, this all happened in the span of about two days, so uh, yeah, keep that in consideration. Um, now we're starting off right away onto the side of this building and boom look at all that detail that just shows up out of nowhere um it's pretty nice because uh, i can use world edit to stack a selection here so um it's pretty easy to detail a small little area and then you just stack it and it makes the whole wall look super detailed so that's obviously what i did there and uh yeah we have these nice windows here and uh these windows this window design that uh, i'm using with this sort of pushed in window and having these trap doors sort of being like a window pane or uh what's i don't know the word but the 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 window sill the i guess the pane is the right word um I don't know, but uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of builders use this sort of design, especially, um, what is it, WC, WBC builds. They make a lot of sort of super detailed, like 18th century, 19th century builds, uh, kind of like this. Um, so yeah, I've taken some inspiration from them. Those guys are pretty crazy um, over there. But yeah, that's kind of where I got the inspiration for a few of these little details. Um, but yeah, this whole wall here is pretty much uh, getting all busted out and all done uh, right away and look at this detail. It's just crazy. It's 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 pretty crazy um, And then after this we're gonna come and fly around the side here and uh, a lot of these parts of this building are um, Sort of copied over from previous parts. So that was definitely helpful for saving time uh, As you can see these two towers here um, Those are the exact same designs as the one uh, over there off to the far right of your screen. So thankfully I didn't have to build completely new towers and stuff like that for every single thing. There are some a lot of unique things that I do have to uh, build um, on my own. Like this wall here that I'm building right now, the designs or like the, the, the window patterns and the designs on them are different from the wall that I made uh, at the very start uh, of this build. So yeah, like some things like that I have to uh, rebuild on my own. But that's okay, that's part of the build, that's part of the beast, that's part of the nature of it. And this tower right here, I don't remember what the name of the tower is, forgive me, I'm not British. Um, but uh, yeah, we're getting this tower up right away. This is the this is the tallest uh, point on the entire palace, taller than Big Ben, believe it or not, by a few feet. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty interesting. Um, I feel like this should be more famous than Big Ben if, uh, if this one's the taller one. I feel like tall things are pretty famous usually. And uh, it's interesting that I've never heard of this uh, this this sort of tower here before, um, which is pretty interesting. I think it's the Victoria Tower. Uh, now that I'm remembering correctly, uh, I think uh, I hope I'm I hope I'm right on that. I might be wrong, but you know uh, it, it is what it is. But here we go. We're just adding some height here real quickly, and all the details are looking fancy schmancy. It's got these four little like sort of uh, towers on the corners of it. You can see there that I copied uh, over. And then it's got this sort of center spire thing, which looks really nice, and uh, yeah, it's got that big old flagpole that gives it a lot of height. So, that's pretty cool, there's that, and then we're adding another wall here, this is another new wall, so I can't copy it over from uh, the, the other walls that I already built, I had to make them new again, but that's okay, because at this point I was pretty much an expert at building this kind of, uh, this kind of style. Um, so that's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, a lot of trap doors, a lot of fences, a lot of uh, fence gates, which is a new thing that uh, I used in this build for the first time, I think. I've never really used fence gates as a uh, design um, for building, so that's pretty cool that uh, I, I incorporated some new little techniques and strategies into my builds. And uh, yeah, here we're coming off to like this um, weird angled part of the build. I don't know why it's at an angle. Um, 
but it is. It's just to make my life harder. I think that's what they, uh, I think that's how they planned it, uh, when they first built it, uh, 300 years. I don't know how, I'm not going to guess how old it is. I'm, uh, I'm going to get flamed in the comments for that. Um, so I'm not going to guess how old this thing is, but I, I guarantee that, uh, when they were designing it, they, uh, they kept uh, in mind that I would be building this someday in the future and they just want to make my life a little more challenging. Um, at least that's how I like to imagine, uh, that they, that they thought, um, but yeah, this sort of angled little section here, uh, turns out pretty nice in the end. Um, it's, uh, like a, it's own little, like, uh, I guess, I don't know, kind of looks like a cathedral from the outside, uh, with the designs that it has, but I don't think it is. Um, actually, I think the inside of this little section here that I'm building right now, the inside of that is like a, like a long hallway, uh, for something. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like a long hallway that leads to somewhere, uh, probably important. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, this section here also is made of uh, a different material, or at least that's what it looks like uh, on on all the pictures that I look at. So uh, I used uh, birch wood here instead of the oak wood for the rest of the builds um, that I used. Um, so, yeah, just for this little section, we're using the birch. And uh, I think it uh, makes a nice little... Uh, uh, what is it? A contrast for uh, for the rest of the build. It adds a nice little different block into it. Uh, so it's not all oak wood. Uh, it still is mostly oak wood for the entire thing, but it's nice to have this little section here uh, be a little bit different. And then there's this, this nice little cute building here coming out uh, of this of this section here. It looks really really quaint, really nice, like a little hermit's house, a little hobbit house. Um, that's cool. But now we're flying around to this side, and uh, we're gonna get all of this stuff detailed up. And wow, look at all that! Look at all that building going on uh, there, and look at all that stuff in the background. It's pretty crazy to imagine that I was able to finish this in two days. Um, I will admit the inside sections of this build are uh, I had to leave a little bit uh, under detailed, a little less detailed than I would have liked. But I ran out of time, and it is what it is. But the uh, all around the building, all around the walls and the outside stuff are, I, I, I tried 100% on this stuff, so um, this is all fantastic. I'm really happy with how the outside walls turned out in the end. And a lot of the stuff on the inside, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out uh, as well. There's just some sections that were a little under detailed, some walls are a little blank, uh, a little more blank than I would have liked. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, you have your priorities set. And I set my priorities on the exterior section of uh, this building. And uh, I think it worked out really well in the end. And uh, now we're, oh look at that, we're copying some more stuff over. So uh, there you go, that's a lot of time saved right there. But we are coming to work on this wall right here. And then in a second here, we're going to start on the thing that I'm sure a lot of you clicked on this video for, which is the Big Ben. Um, you can see that little square section right there that's uh, not built up yet. Uh, that's where Big Ben is going to go. Big Ben, Large Benjamin, however you want to call it. Um, so that's fantastic. We're doing a little bit of work on the uh, inside section here, but then we're gonna come back out and uh, snap out and work on the on the on the Big Ben here. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of those little courtyards inside of it, which uh, are pretty interesting and made my life uh, a lot harder. Um, which is very, very nice, and uh, that's okay. That's the nature of the beast. And here we are working on Big Ben. Burr, burr, burr. Um, so yeah, this thing's gonna go up pretty quickly. This is a, uh, it's pretty, it's uh, symmetrical on all four sides. So I only had to build one side, and then I could world edit it over uh, to the other three sides, which is fantastic. And uh, that way I could uh, also focus on uh, adding more detail to the one side. Um, which is pretty, pretty nice. And there we go. We're coming up here. And this is the clock section uh, right here. There's that beautiful clock. And uh, yeah, I like the clock arm. I like my little clock arm design. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. But I think it really turned out really, really cool looking in the end. Uh, I don't know. I don't, can't put my finger on it. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this thing looks. Then here we go. We're coming up to the roof here. And... Um, and this thing is getting really tall really quickly and uh, just look at this build guys look at this admire this build from up here uh just look back in the background and it's looking fantastic uh, it's just it's so good it's so good i'm so happy this exceeded my expectations i can't imagine how the other three weeks of this building challenge is going to go for me um this first week just turned out so freaking well um I, I can't wait for the next three weeks and uh, yeah, I hope you guys tune in for the next three weeks uh, as well. Um, I'm going to pick three different countries um, for the next three weeks to build something. And uh, if you're watching this far ahead in the future, then those are probably already up on my channel. So go check those out. Might as well. Um, but here we are working on the inside section here. Um, 
this thing is gonna go up pretty quickly and there's a lot of sort of a sort of a wall building and uh, just the general structure of these uh, up this interior section because I didn't want to leave it completely blank um, because that would have looked stupid and um, here's a little thing that uh, was weird this uh, sort of spire thing here uh, I didn't pick up on my recording I might have had like it paused for a long time or something but you'll see it pop into place uh, out of nowhere which is kind of a shame because look at that it looks pretty cool I, I wish I had that on camera but for some reason I guess it was paused or something um, and it didn't get on camera but uh, it is what it is uh, I'm really happy with how that thing turns out uh, look at that thing uh, look at all the detail there it's fantastic and then yeah we're just coming around adding in all these little uh, little sections here all these little nooks and crannies there's a, just a lot of things uh, everywhere uh, thrown about uh, here and there and then here's the, the the final little section here on the interior I'm still gonna uh, fly in and add a little more uh, detail you'll see me add some windows and stuff but here I'm just finishing up adding these little courtyards here and there and again like I don't know why there, there are so many courtyards and stuff um, here on the inside I don't like they couldn't just make this entire building like one 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 solid building one solid roof they couldn't make it easier for me to build and not to mention not to mention I have a bone to pick with the people at this at this palace here the palace of Westminster people every single Google Maps Street View and every single Google Earth uh, uh, thing that I look at this thing is under construction in some way shape or form um, which made my life even harder uh, if you go on Google Earth and you look at this thing half of the building is covered in construction walls so you can't even see the structure of the building so um, you know there's my little rant on that but here we go um, uh, that that was just a, I had to get that on my system here and uh, there we go and here's the final little details for the roof and stuff like that and uh, we're gonna add some windows here and there you'll see me plop those bad boys down and uh, that's pretty much most of the inside section here and here's the last section of this build we're gonna go and add the surrounding area because you know you guys know if you watch my channel you got to add the surrounding areas your build is not gonna look good if it's just sitting in the middle of a super flat world no matter how awesome it looks you got to have the surrounding areas so here we are I'm adding these nice little gardens and these roads around the building um, and I'm so happy with how this thing turned out in the end. It's just fantastic. I'm really, really happy with how this thing turns out. These cinematics are going to go crazy. Uh, I promise you that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to sum it up for the rest of this video. We're going to get a few trees in here and a little ground, uh, a little groundwork landscaping. You guys know how I do that. I go crazy with that. I do not mess around with some ground uh, work and landscaping. I go crazy. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got the trees coming up and that just makes it look so much more uh, alive and so much better. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Tell me down in the comments how good you think this build is because I think it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, tell me down in the comments what other builds you want me to do. Stay tuned for my next episode uh, on this channel. And until then, guys, enjoy these cinematics and have a fantastic day. Goodbye! Goodbye!